Hey there, this is B-Ray 549. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I couldn't stay away from that estate sale. I had to go back and see if I missed anything. And I did. I went back to the tool area and, and let's see what we got here. And the reason I went back is because the first time I went through there, I was kind of rushed because uh, I, I knew they were trying to close up. So I went the next day on my lunch hour because it's really close to work. And uh, I saw all these tools here. And they had a lot more, but I just picked the ones that I figured uh, were good quality, American made. And actually, uh, kind of classic older tools is what I uh, kind of gravitate to. But anyway, I saw these hand tools and I saw this container of, of um, construction screws. They're exterior grade galvanized. So I thought, you know, I'm going to grab that because I'm always using those. And then I thought I'd just use the use it to put some of the hand tools in. Um, so yeah, I did grab that. Um, there's some box end and open end and combination wrenches. And uh, these ones here, there's a couple here that are made by Powercraft. And uh, Powercraft was a private label owned by Montgomery Wards and um, here's the other one and back in the day they were rivals with uh, Sears Craftsman and they actually were about the same quality if you ask me um, and then there's always some other brands True Fit, Thorson that's a name brand that's always a good good one to go with and this one is made by Wizard. And Wizard is a company that, uh, well, it was uh, sold by Western Auto. And this wrench here is, is like a really a slimline variety. If you compare it to, say, something of the same size, you can tell the difference there and how, how thin that is. And that's really nice if you need to get into a tight area. Also saw this one here, which is also made by Powercraft. And it's a ratcheting um, box end. And, uh, uh, but this is an old one. And it's good quality. Uh, also picked up a set of calipers. And these are... This is made by Helios, and on the back, or on somewhere it said on there, Western Germany. So that's uh, before the fall of the Berlin Wall. And it's, um, it's a dial type, and it needs to be calibrated because, or maybe not, I don't know, this thing here. This little adjusting screw he loosens, and you can you can loosen that, and you can turn the dial. So maybe it's for I don't know too much about these honestly, but I do like them because it's a precision instrument, and it says Dixon on there as well. So I'm not sure Dixon Helios. Um, Made in Western Germany. And there's also a couple of wrenches here. These are made by Bernard. And these are six and a half inch. These are identical tools. They're six and a half inch Lyman pliers. And they're kind of a combination. And um, let me show you how that works. It's they're parallel pliers, so and they're flat. So when you open it, it stays parallel which is kind of cool and also it's kind of like I guess you might say it's articulated and on the bottom jaw it has a groove there I'm assuming that's for like wire because when you wrench down on a piece of wire and you're gonna maybe I don't know what you're gonna do with it but it'll keep it from rolling off or moving it'll keep it stationary uh, and then it also has a pair of wire cutters up in the top and uh, 
this is really a, a nice pair of pliers. So I put these up front and had them hold them for me and I went around and I, I went back and looked at some more of those clocks and uh, I picked up a bunch of little ones, small ones. I'll show you a video on that later. But when I brought these up, I had the clocks, the little box of clocks, and I had um, a shovel, and then um, she just rounded it up to 40 bucks, so I got all these for like five bucks. And uh, it was quite a deal. Anyway, I wanted to give you a follow up on that visit I made. Um, at that estate sale. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And as always, have a good day.